Hello and welcome. So a multiple reflection ATR is a nice alternative when you need more sensitivity than what you're seeing with your single reflection ATR. There are a couple exceptions to that rule. With powders and rigid solids, my preference is to go with a single reflection ATR. The HATR is a fixed angle multiple reflection accessory. We can change the number of reflections depending what crystal is installed in the HATR plate. So let me show you how how you can determine how many reflections your HATR plate has. To determine the number of reflections of your HATR plate, the first thing you'll do is remove the ATR plate from the base. Next, flip it over and we're going to look at the ends of the crystal. All HATR crystals are 80 millimeters long. The differences come in the thickness and the space angle. Next, determine how thick is your HATR crystal. We have a four millimeter thick, that's most common, and then we have a two millimeter thick. If you have a thin crystal, this face angle is 45 degrees, and the number of reflections on the sample would be 20. If your crystal looks to be about four millimeters thick, we have two options on this face angle. One is 45 degrees and the other is 60. A 45 degree face angle results in 10 reflections on the sample, whereas this 60 degree face angle crystal will result in five reflections on the sample. So one way you can tell the difference is when they're installed in the plate, the 60 degree crystal looks really stubby, whereas the 45 degree crystal will be more of an appearance of 45. So there's your tip this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.